yo it's value for vara welcome back to another video listen to what the pope said during his speech yes here yeah. i'm going to tell you something private so in the bolsillo in my pocket llevo siempre dos cosas i always carry two things un rosario rosary un rosario Para rezar, to pray. Y una cosa que parece extraña. Something which seems odd. ¿Qué es esto? Y esto es la historia del fracaso de Dios. This here, in this item, is the history of God's failure. Es un via crucis. It's the way of the cross. Mm. I don't really know how to express this, but these are one of those clips where we find the Pope saying stuff that are very, very, let me not use the word blasphemous, but the kind of stuff he's saying are very, very anti Christian, if you know what I mean. As you can see, the Pope is clearly saying that, and he's talking about a very, very private, sacred which he's about to release and he's saying that he got two things in his pockets one he has a rosary which he always pray to um holy maria if that's what they call her yeah holy maria the mother of jesus christ according to what the catholic believe in and he said he has another st stuff in his pocket which really takes time to lay more emphasis on it and everyone was expecting it to be something better but he takes out a wallet and you know he really takes time you know to let us know that this is according to him according to pope francis this is god's biggest failure like the history of god's biggest failure he takes out a wallet then he says is the way of the cross guys leave your opinion in the comment section what do you think about this clip but let me just give you my thoughts okay first of all i won't blame the pope for saying what Ever he said but the way he decides to express it that is what really got me angry saying that is God's biggest failure or the history of God's biggest failure I don't think money is God's biggest failure or the history of God's biggest failure but I perfectly know that money is one of the main agenda that is dragging souls to hell I won't flow with his blasphemous way of insulting God okay but I will explain in a more friendly way of whatever he's trying to say okay pope francis is very right in the sense that money is god's enemy and i'll be very honest with you guys okay god's biggest enemy on this earth is not satan okay god's biggest enemy on this very earth in this very february 2022 is not satan he has he has never been satan because not everyone is being influenced by satan god's biggest enemy is money and that's why the bible says that you cannot serve two masters at the same time you have to take one and you have to leave the other one and the bible goes by also saying that money the love of money is the root of all evil not that money is evil but the love of money is the root of all evil then in the gospel of jesus christ he said that for where your treasure is there your heart will also be and you all know that your heart is a physical representation of your soul and don't forget god wants your heart like god wants your soul god cares more about your soul pope francis is saying something he's making it blasphemous but his thoughts about money are right because guys this guy he sits upon a lot of money for those who don't know the vatican is the richest place on this earth if you don't know what the vatican contains the treasure the gold the buildings the paintings everything is worth trillions of dollars just sitting and these guys have a lot of gold in their waves they have a lot of in fact and these guys they sit at the top of the world they control the whole world don't forget there are Catholic churches in every, in almost every country, apart from some few Muslim countries. But in other countries, 
we have Catholic churches everywhere. And because we have all these things, there is room for corruption. Because when you sit on top of all this money, on top of wealth, power, where you control the whole world. In fact, if you guys don't know, whenever there's a new president or in any countries, you always find them going to the Vatican, right? Um, Trump, Donald Trump, he went to the Vatican. And all these presidents, when... When we have a new president, they always go to the Vatican. Why are they going to the Vatican all the time? It is because the Vatican is the universal church, is the universal religion of the world. And that is a siege of Satan, hidden in plain sight. I don't really care about these people or what they choose to do with their new world order agendas. But for us watching, for us, because it's not about them, it's about us. Money, the love of money is the root of all evil and whatever pope francis is saying he's just being sarcastic okay but as christians as people who care about god who love god we have to try as much as possible not to fall in the traps of the enemy don't forget money was created as a medium of exchange not something that people should worship i know a lot of souls are going to hell a lot of women are going to hell a lot of men a lot of pastors pastors man pastors you are, you are called to serve God, but because of this money, because of all these things, politicians, presidents, teachers, a lot of people are going to the wrong path because of money, because they love money and they feel like they can't live in this world without money. You know, sometimes when you want to preach to somebody, they'll be like, I have bills to pay, I have this to do, I have this to do, I have to eat, I have to feed my family. They don't care about God they don't care about the provider they don't care about the creator they only care about themselves and the things of the world that is why i listen um, i watched a video a while ago i think yesterday in that video i was being told that in order to ascend the spiritual realms in this life you have to think vertical not horizontal for those who think horizontal are kind of minded but those who think vertical are spiritually minded they care about the things of god that's what the Bible says that think above. Think about like your thoughts should be focused on, on the kingdom of God and the kingdom of God is above the earth. But if your focus is about the things of the world, which, which is horizontal, you're just thinking about what this guy is doing, what this person is doing, how to become rich, how to become famous, how to become this or that, things that will expire in a short period of time. If you think about that, you die forever and you will die again and again and again guess what that's the second death that's a dead in hell but if your mind if your mindset is straightforward are you and you care only about the things above and you care about the heavens the spiritual realm beneath me you will live forever you will live even after you die so guys like pope francis is saying something but i want you guys to understand exactly what he's saying it might be blasphemous to some of us but if we look at it carefully a lot of souls are going to hell because of the love of money i know very well that we live in an economic planet where we need money to do things every single day but please don't love money you need money yeah but don't don't be a slave to money don't be controlled by money don't be fooled by money because at the end of the day money is just a piece of paper a number on the screen Stop chasing it. I don't know about you, but I'd rather chase God than to chase money. Because at the end of the day, if you look at it very carefully, those who chase money end up dying prematurely. But those who chase God will have not only eternal life, but their days on earth will be prosperous because they will come to realize the real sense that it's not about money, it's about value. It's about identifying your values, your gifts and your values improving them in the way of the lord and expressing them to the mass number of people that is how people make money they don't make money by chasing money they make money by bringing your values from the spirit realm into the physical realm and expressing it and when people start feeling your vibe definitely they're gonna spend their money their stuff to to help support and celebrate your gifts and the valuable things you brought into this world that is just a secret. That's why you see Elon Musk, Mark Zucks, and the rest. That's what they are doing. 